Sitting up nice and tall, close your eyes, please. And with your eyes closed, exhale your breath all the way out. Breathe in through your nostrils. Breathe out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Inhale. And exhale. Stretch your arms over your head. Take a deep breath in. Bring your hands to your heart. Side out. Let it go. With your eyes closed, press your palms together. Slide your shoulders down your back. Seal your lips without clenching your jaw. Sit up a little bit taller. Make sure you're breathing through just the nostrils now. In through your nose, filling up, full and complete breath in. Out through your mouth, letting go. Sorry, out through your nose, letting go, all the breath out. Continue to build and deepen your breath in and out through your nostrils, through your nose. And as your breath deepens, you're introducing this audible sensation into your breath. You can feel the sound of the breath. You can hear it. You can even sort of taste the breath at the back of the throat. So your breath is occupying as many of your senses as possible as a way to keep you focused and present in this space, in this moment. In through your nose and out through your nose. Maybe one of the more challenging parts about practicing at home is the amount of distraction that's around us, right? We're you know, comfortable and we feel safe and convenient that we can just be where we are. But look around you and maybe you see things that you can do, things that need to be done. Uh, you have partner, roommates walking through or you're trying to use the space as well. And so this becomes not a distraction, at least in our yoga practice, we'll take the label of distraction away and rather create some sort of acceptance there so that this becomes the baseline sensation that almost without these distractions, we'd be distracted. This is how we, in a way, sort of trick ourselves into being more focused and present. That the distractions that are there aren't distractions, but instead part of just the what is, part of the background, part of the present moment. Can you move today in this space, not tempted by those distractions, but even more focused and more present as a result of them? Exhale your breath all the way out. Inhale four, ohm. Please open your eyes and let's come on to our hands and knees, everybody.
Good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for being here. Spread your fingers nice and wide, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna make some circles around our wrists, please. Pressing down through your hands, circle in one direction for three, two, and one. Circle the other way, same thing, three, two, and one, lean forward into your hands, lift your palms up and lower the palms down. Keep the knuckles and fingers down. Palms lift, palms lower. We'll go for five, four, three, two, and one. Walk your knees in a little bit closer. Now come up to your fingertips. Fingertips and palms again for five, four, three, two, and one, stay on the fingertips, bring your chin to your chest, cat pose your spine, squeeze your glutes as you tuck your tailbone under, inhale, cow pose, thigh spin back, belly drops and chest is lifted. Exhale, back to cat pose, chin to chest, round the back, squeeze the glutes. Inhale, cow pose, look up and exhale one more time, cat pose, press the ground away, Inhale, cow pose, thighs back, and heart lifted. Come back to a nice flat back position. Turn your palms face up, please, and point the fingers in. Rock side to side. Wiggle your fingers and roll out your thumbs. Rock for three. Press down to the hands, two. And one, turn the palms face down, point the fingers back, lean forward. Exhale, cat pose. Round into your back, squeeze into your glutes. Inhale, take it back, cow pose. Take your hips to your heels, lift into your chest. Exhale, come forward, cat pose. Inhale, shift back, cow pose. One more time, exhale, cat pose. Rock forward, lean into your hands, go past your hands. Exhale, rock back, hips to your heels. Sit back onto your heels, but keep the hands on the ground. Press through your palms, extend your arms, stretch up the forearms. Very good, walk your hands back right alongside your ankles. Lean back and either keep the knees down or pick the knees up, depending on what feels good for you today. You can stay just a little bit off the ground or you can pull the thighs all the way up into your chest. Hold and breathe. Lower your knees back down to the ground. Come forward onto hands and knees again and stretch your left arm out to the left, please. Left arm wraps underneath you. Lower down onto the back of your left shoulder and walk your right fingertips forward. You're gonna twist by looking up underneath your right arm. Twist by moving your hips a little bit over to your left. Keeping the hips over, the over to the left. Swing your thighs back and twist. Look underneath your right arm. Coming back to center, unwind. Place your right hand back down under your right shoulder, please. And stretch your left arm up to the sky. Big step back with your left foot. Big arm circle up and over your head with your left arm. Stretch through left fingertips. Reach to the upper right corner of the mat. So really long through your left side body here. Breathe in. And exhale, step your left foot to the top of the mat, please. Inhale, rock forward, look forward, and lunge. Stretch through your legs, pull forward through your chest. Left leg extends, exhale, flex your toes, pull your hips back. Inhale, rock forward, and lunge. Stretch through your legs, extend through your heart. Exhale, sit back, flex your toes, flex your quads. Press through your feet. Inhale, rock forward, and lunge. And exhale, shift it back, flex your toes, move your hips to your heels. Pick up the back knee as you come forward and lunge. 
Heart pulls forward, back, inner thigh lifts. Keep the back knee lifted, straighten your legs, exhale. Flex your toes, push down through your hands, scoop the left leg up to the sky. Three-legged dog, please. And now stack your left tip over your right hip, keeping the right side body nice and long. Press to your right hand, pull your right hip up and back. Make sure you're not scrunching into the right side. Now make some big circles with your left knee. Circle three, two, and one circle the other way. Big knee circles, three, two, and one. Extend your left leg up to the sky. Big breath in, reach up, stretch back. Exhale, left knee to left shoulder, rock forward, tap the upper left arm, press the ground away. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, left knee to right shoulder, cross the body, tap the right arm. Inhale, send the left leg up to the sky. And exhale, left knee into your chest, rock forward, bring your nose to your knee, lower your left knee down to the ground. Lift your right leg up off of the ground. Circle your left arm forward, up and back, and let's grab a hold of that right foot if you can. Give it a generous little kick here. It doesn't have to be a huge action, but can you lift your right thigh, your toes, your chest? One more breath. Press the ground away. Inhale and open it back up. Exhale, hand and knee comes back down to the ground. Right arm reaches out to the right, please. Thread the right arm underneath you. Come down onto your right shoulder. Rock your left fingertips forward for a twist. Turn your uh, gaze up through your left armpit. And move your hips a little bit over to the right. Three. Bring your left hand back under your shoulder and sweep the right arm up to the sky. Step your right foot back, circle the right arm over your head, reach forward through the right fingertips towards the upper left corner of the mat. So nice big arch and stretch to the right side body. And let's step the right foot all the way back to the top of the mat, all the way up to the top of the mat. Both hands down, inhale, look forward, rock forward and lunge. Press through your feet, stretch through your legs. Exhale, right leg extends. Flex your toes, pull your hips back. Fold in. Inhale, rock forward and lunge. Exhale, right leg extends. Move your hips back. Inhale, rock forward and lunge. And exhale, hips back. Straighten your legs. Come forward and pick up your back knee. Look forward, lunge. Keep the back knee lifted. Straighten your front leg. Flex your toes, keep the back heel lifted, and that way your inner left thigh is still spinning back. So make sure your back heel is not dropping down. And then both hands inside the right ankle. Pressing down through your hands, sweep the right leg up to the sky. Three legged dog. Keep the left side body from collapsing. Stack your right hip over your left hip. And make some big circles with your right knee. So your left hip is pulling up and back. Big circles with your right knee in the other direction, please. Big circles. One more. Right leg extends up. Press to the hands. Inhale, reach back to your toes. Exhale, right knee, right shoulder. Tap the upper arm. Inhale, right leg goes back to the sky. Hold it here. Stretch through your hands. Stretch through your legs. Good, right knee to left shoulder, cross the body, tap the arm. Inhale, right leg to the sky. And right knee into your chest, rock forward, round to the spine. Lower your right knee down to the ground. Lift your left leg up. Reach your right arm forward, take a big breath in, circle the right arm back, and if you can, grab your foot, please. You can just hold on to it, but Press the left hand down, lift into your chest, start to lift into your big toe, lift into your left thigh for three. Good, kick the foot back and lift up two. Roll your right shoulder back a little bit more and 
One, release it. Hands and knees down to the ground. Shift forward, rock forward, lower your chest and chin down. Slide forward, cobra pose. Stay low, pin the elbows back, press into the tops of the feet. Make sure your pinky toenails are pressing down into the mat. Everyone lift your hips and thighs up. Spiral your inner thighs up towards the ceiling. Keep that and lower your hips back down. Now pull forward, cobra pose. Staying low, keep the inner spiraling of action in the thighs. Pinky toenails press down. One more breath, elbows pull back, inhale. Take it back, downward dog, exhale. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose, please. Fingers spread nice and wide. Inhale, lift up to your toes. Lift your low belly. Lift the backs of your thighs. Lift the place where your thighs and your bum connect, right where your leg becomes your butt. Lift that part of your leg up to the sky. One more breath. Press through your hands. Lift up. Can you keep that lift? Low belly in, back of the thighs lift. Walk your feet forward, keeping as much of that lift to the back of the leg as you can. Low belly lifts, back of the hips lift up, and lower feet down, heels down, forward fold. Good, Jeff. All the way down, forward fold. Inhale, bend your knees, lift up halfway, lengthen your spine. See if you can bring your stomach and thighs to touch for this first round. And get a sense of your stomach sliding forward across your thighs. You're stretching out long through your side body. Shins hug in, thighs spin back, pull forward into your chest, inhale. Exhale, fold in, straighten the legs. Once again, lifting the back of the thigh up towards the ceiling as you push down into your feet. Rise to standing, inhale, take the arms to the sky. Interlace the fingers, point your fingers, extend, side bend to your left side, press down through your feet, hug your shins in, spin your thighs back, quads and glutes engaged, belly pulls in, stretch out. Inhale, come back up, keep the action in the legs, side bend to your right side, shins hug in, thighs spin back, flex the glutes, draw the navel in, and stretch. Inhale, come up. Cactus your arms, please. Slide your shoulder blades down your back, lifting the bottom of your heart up towards the ceiling. Take it to chair pose. Inhale, reach the arms up and move the hips back. Think about keeping your belly away from your thigh here. So even as you sit deeper, not letting your whole torso fall forward. Thighs spin down, hips move back, chest is lifted, breathe in. Exhale, forward fold. Lift up halfway, lengthen your spine. Plant the hands, take it back, please. Chaturanga, hop or step back. Remember, if you hop back, to land with bent elbows. Cobra pose, shoulders back, heart forward. Really working on our thoracic mobility through this cobra pose. Press to the inner edge of your hand, pointer finger knuckle and inner edge of the wrist. Elbows back, press to your outer edge of your feet, pinky finger, sorry, pinky toe, um, Pinky toenail. Downward dog exhale. Whew, that was hard to say. <laughs> Lift up to your tiptoes, please. Bend your knees, look forward, draw your low belly in, pull the backs of the thighs up to the sky. Step or hop forward. Even if you're hopping, it's that same action. Make sure that your hips get up over your shoulders. Good. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Push down through your feet, rise. Up to standing, take the arms to the sky. Interlace the fingers, pointer fingers extend, side bend to your right side. Thighs back, glutes engaged. Push down through your feet, stretch out through your fingers. Inhale, come up. Side bend to your left side, same thing. Big arching action, lateral extension, so healthy for our spinal movement. Inhale, come back up. Cactus the arms, please curl back. Maybe you go a little bit further back. Shoulder blades down to the back pockets. Chair pose. Inhale, hips back. Chest lifted, get low. Exhale, forward fold, nose to knees, please. Lift up halfway, lengthen. Plant the hands, take it back, chaturanga. 
Cobra pose, press into the pinky toenails. Press firmly through the inner edge of your hand. Try not to just push yourself up, pull yourself forward. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up to your toes, please. Low belly in, backs of the thighs lift. Step or hop forward, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway, good. Getting that flow time in. Exhale, forward fold, nose to knees. Rise to standing, take the arms up. Practice the arms, exhale, curl it back, thighs back. Chest lifted, inhale, chair pose, sit back. Exhale, plant the hands, take it back, chaturanga, right into that chaturanga. Cobra pose. Downward facing dog. Please lift your left leg to the sky. Left knee into your chest, step between your hands. Spin your right heel down, spin your right thigh back. Press down through your feet, rise up, warrior one. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. So much we can do in this pose. Don't be distracted by everything. Everything is happening. Let that focus you more on being right here, right now. Inner right thigh spins back. Outer left hip wraps under. Bring your focus and awareness into this balance of inner and outer rotation in the hips. Now from there, stretch through your legs. Push down into your feet. Get low. Get low. Release the hands down. Take it back. Chaturanga. Cobra pose. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Please lift your right leg to the sky. Bring your knee into your chest. Step between your hands. There's so much we can focus on in this pose. So much happening. So much we can modify and adjust. Keep that in mind, but stay present in the actions we're working towards. Spin your inner left thigh back, lift the back of your left thigh. Wrap your outer right hip under, push down through your feet, rise up. From the center of the hips, expand outwards, press through the feet, lunge deeper. From the center of the hips, lift up into your chest, reach up and stretch back. Inhale. And exhale, release the hands down to the ground. Take it back, chaturanga. Cobra pose. Shoulders back, heart forward. Think about getting longer and exhale, downward facing dog. In through your nose, lift up to your toes, please. Bend your knees, exhale, step or hop forward. Remember, the low belly lifts, back of the thighs pull up as you hop forward. Good, Vittorio. Nice, getting into that floating action. Really good, everyone. Lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Come back to chair pose, please. Take the arms up. Hold it here. Low belly lifts. Shins move back underneath you. Thighs sit down and low. Hands to your heart, stand all the way up. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky, please. Cactus the arms, curl back, lift up into your chest. Shoulder blades down the back. Interlace your hands behind your back. Take a big breath and continue to curl back if you can. Exhale, bend your knees to fold in. Keep stretching through the shoulders. Make sure your palms are squeezing together, that your knuckles, um, so that your hands are closed all the way. There's no space between your hands at all. Squeezing the palms together as best you can. Let your head drop down, relax your neck. You're looking back at your knees or between your legs and extend from the center of the hips, push down through your feet. Stretch out through your chest and up and over with your knuckles. Take a couple more breaths. Try to keep your legs active. Draw your low belly in. Lift the backs of your thighs up towards the ceiling and stretch. Inhale to release the hands and exhale to lower down to boat pose. Navasana, bring your butt to the ground. Lift your feet up. 
Inhale, take it back, Ardha Navasana. Lower yourself back, squeeze the midline, thighs squeeze together, All right? Legs are active. Exhale, pick it back up, boat pose. Pull your thighs as close to your ribs as you can for this variation today. Really squeeze in. Inhale, take it back, Ardha Navasana. Keep squeezing the midline, thighs squeeze together. Keep squeezing the midline as you come up, exhale. Pull your thighs as close ooh, to your ribs as you can. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, pick it up. Thighs to ribs, squeeze. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, pick it up. Thighs to ribs, squeeze. Inhale, take it back. One more time. Exhale, pick it up. Thighs to ribs, squeeze. Very nice, my friends. Grab your shins, rock back, and rock back up to chair pose. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Pull your shins back, lift your chest up. Very nice work, my friends. Place the hands down, bring the knees to the backs of the arms, crow pose. Knees to the arms, keep pulling thighs into your ribs. Even though your legs aren't together, squeeze the midline, hug in. Rock forward, look forward, press through the hands, hug your forearms in, lift thighs into ribs for five. Squeeze heels up to bum, four, three. Good, two, lift the backs of your thighs, oops, up towards the ceiling, draw your low belly in, two. And one, place the feet down. Come into a squat position. Heels in, toes out. If you got a little jump back, good. Extra round of jumping back. It's really helpful. In through your nose, out through your nose, lift into your chest. Place the hands down, lift the hips up, draw the low belly and lift through the backs of the thighs. Step your right foot way back behind you, please. Lower your right knee down to the ground. Circle your left arm up and back. Grab a hold of your right foot. Breathe, can you roll your right shoulder back, creating external rotation in the right shoulder. Spin your right bicep forward, roll your left shoulder back now, and start to twist, turning your left rib cage back, looking back over your left shoulder a little bit, keeping your lunge extend out through the legs, pull forward through your chest, in through your nose, out your nose. Inhale, release the back foot, circle the left arm all the way back, down and around. Pick up your back knee, turning to your right side, wide legged forward fold. Big toes turned in, inner thigh spinning back. Grab a hold of the feet, your ankles, and pull yourself down. Inner thigh spin back, lift the low belly, lift the backs of the thighs. That same action you've been focusing on. With all of the different actions that we can do in our practice, it's easy be distracted by trying to do them all. Focus in on maybe one or two things that you can kind of direct your energy towards today. And over time, it all starts to come together more precisely. It all starts to fit together with less force. All right, inner thighs spin back, backs of the thighs lift up, draw your low belly in and stretch, press through your feet, lengthen through your side body, work the crown of your head towards the ground, Inhale, lift up to your fingertips, please. Take it to your right side, skandasana, right knee bending, left leg extending. You're gonna move your hips down and back. Hips towards your heel, flex your quads, squeeze your heels together, draw thighs to hips, then sit hips low. In through your nose and out through your nose, please breathe. So good, my friends. Hold it and breathe. Stay low if you can. Walk your hands back to the top of the mat. Place your right hand down. Open your left arm up to the sky. Side plank pose to the right side. Left foot steps to the right foot. Maybe even back behind you first. A little wild thing. Pressing through your feet, lifting through your hips, reaching up and over your head. Look down at the ground, please. 
and bring your left knee into your chest. Place your left hand down. Keep squeezing your left knee into your chest. And now extend your left leg out to the right. Open your right arm up to the sky. You can bring your left foot down if you want. Press through your feet, stretch through your legs. Lean back a little bit. In through your nose, out through your nose. Slowly lower your hips down to the ground, sliding the legs apart, lower your butt down to the ground. Very nice, everyone. From here, you're gonna take your uh, left foot, bend your left knee, okay? and then take your right foot, circle it all the way around over to the left, crossing over your left thigh. Okay? From here, inhale, lift your left arm up, twist to your right side, left elbow, to right thigh, look back over your right shoulder. Ugh. Unwinding, walk your hands back to the top of the mat. You're going to push off your right foot to make sure your right toes are to pointing towards the top of the mat. Push off your right foot, lift your left leg up, all the way up into half moon pose on the right side. Right hand down, left arm lifted, please. Breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Nice, everyone. Extend out through your legs. Extend out through your heart. Stretch out through your fingertips. All right, so we're going to go back to where we came. Bring your left knee all the way down to the outside of your right ankle. You're coming all the way back down. Ready, sit all the way down. Pick up your right foot, stretch it all the way back towards the back of the mat. Pick up your left knee, place your left foot down on the ground. Come up, Skandasana on the left side. Wait for everyone to get there. Very nice job. Ready, just a little extra work. Stand all the way up. Turn your heels in, your toes out. Squat all the way down. Take your arms up. Spin your right knee down to the ground. Reach all the way back behind you. All right, back where we started from. Release the hands down. Step back, chaturanga. Cobra pose, inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. Inhale, lift up to your tiptoes. Bend your knees, look forward. Hopper step the feet wider than the hands. Place the hands down, lift the backs of the thighs. Draw your low belly in, lift your hips up. Step your left foot back. Lower your left knee down to the ground. Circle your right arm back and grab your left foot. We're introducing a little bit more um, focus on the transitions, the, the space between, so that we can build our mobility, be more capable movers, not just capable pose holders. Shoulders back, heart forward, deep in your lunge, squeeze your heel to your bum. We built an aptitude to hold the pose. Now we want to be able to move more freely between those shapes. Release the back foot, circle the right hand down, Pick up your back knee and turn wide-legged fold. Big toes turned in, inner thighs spin back. Inner thighs spiral back. You're lifting the backs of your thighs up towards the ceiling. Draw your low belly in and fold. Work the crown of your head to or towards the ground here. Hug the elbows in, press through your feet. Stretch through the side body. Think about pulling low belly up and in, pressing through your feet. One more breath. Inhale, lift up to your fingertips. Left side, skandhasana. All right, so prepping the hips for these movements. Flex your quads, squeeze your heels together, please. Draw thighs to hips. Keep that sense of drawing in. You're continuing to draw in towards hips and pelvis, towards a strong focal point of support. And then from there, you can keep that as you expand outward. Press to your feet, lift your chest. Ready, come forward, side plank pose. Left hand down, right arm to the sky. 
And if you want to turn that side plank into a wild thing, you can get wild, get crazy, but make sure you're safe. Left bicep spins forward, left shoulder externally rotates. You can have as much wild and crazy wild thing time as you can, but keep it safe, keep it controlled. Ready, bring your right knee into your chest and place your right hand down on the ground. Extend your right leg out to the left and open your left arm up to the sky. Your right leg could float or land, your choice. Wherever you end up, stretch through your legs, stretch through your arms, lean back and slowly start to lower your hips down right next to your right wrist. Nice, my friends. Inhale, sit up nice and tall, please. Bring your right foot to your left thigh, exhale. Take your left foot all the way across the body, breathe in, and place the left foot down outside of the right thigh. Right arm goes up, twisting towards your left. Look over your left shoulder. And you wanna try to do all those movements without using your hands, so that we're again building mobility, our capability of movement, rather than just our ability to hold a shape. Ready, come back to face the top of the mat, Place the hands down, uh, half moon pose. Left hand comes down, right leg lifts up, and right arm goes to the sky. Ardha Chandrasana, hold and breathe. Tone your thighs, squeeze your glutes, expand outward in all directions. In these balancing poses, there's a lot to focus on. Can you bring your focus and awareness into one action to help keep you more connected to the shape? Rather than trying to do every single thing perfectly, be right here right now in the action of engagement in the legs, expansion across the shoulders. When you're ready, we'll slowly come back down. Right knee is going to come to the outside of your left ankle. Try not to use your hands. Sit all the way back down to the ground. Take your left foot towards the back of the mat. Place your right foot right next to your right hip. Pick yourself up, skandasana. Right knee bent, left leg extended. Press to your feet, stand all the way up, straight legs. Heels in, toes out, squat. Ready, turn forward, Anjaneyasana. Drop your left knee down to the ground. Take both arms up to the sky, reach up, stretch back. Right foot is forward and left leg is back. And you're facing the front of your mat. Exhale, release the hands down. Take it back, Chaturanga. Nice work, everyone. Cobra pose, breathe in. Downward facing dog. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, lift up to your tiptoes, please. Bend your knees, look forward, and this time hop the feet between the hands. Forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold in. Rise to standing, reach the arms up. Exhale, lower your butt all the way down to the ground, boat pose. Inhale, Ardha Navasana. Exhale, boat pose. Maybe try to touch your toes this time. Inhale, Ardha Navasana. Thighs to ribs, exhale, boat pose. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Place your feet down. Reach forward, stand up, chair pose. Place the hands down, crow pose. Spread your fingers wide. Lean into your hands. Lift the thighs into the ribs. Pull forward into your chest. But remember, you're drawing the low belly up and in. Then lifting the backs of the thighs up. Now squeeze your heels to your bum for five, four, three, two. Place your feet down one, back into your squat position. Let's keep it going. Hands down, hips up, fold forward. Good calling. Step your right foot way back. Lower your right knee down to the ground. Circle your left arm back, grab your right foot. And this time you're gonna squeeze the heel into the bum and kick the foot back into your hand. Kick back, peel open. Squeeze the heel into the bum, deepen your lunge. Exhale, kick the foot into your hand, open your heart, lean back. 
One more time, squeeze the heel in, kick the foot back, release the back foot, turn to your right side, wide legged fold. Option this time, if you want to turn it into a headstand, you can. Just a nice mid flow headstand. You can bring the hands under the shoulders, the head to the ground in front of the fingers, tilt forward onto your tiptoes, lift the backs of the thighs, draw your low belly in, and you get that lift into your headstand here. Okay, breathe in through your nose, out through your nose, and if you're up, start to come back down. Lift up to your fingertips. To the right side, Skandasana. Right hip to right heel, get nice and low. Come forward, side plank pose to the right side. Walk your hands forward, take the left arm to the sky, step your left foot back, maybe it's a wild thing. Press through your feet, lift through your hips, reach through your fingertips. You might even tap the ground overhead. And come back around, left hand down, left knee into your chest. Extend your left leg out to the right. The foot can hover or land. And from here, lower your left hip down to your left wrist. Inhale. This time, fold right down the center. Exhale. Fold it in. Tone your thighs. Flex your quads. Spin your thighs back and fold. Inhale. Come back up. Ready, bend your left knee, place your left foot at your right thigh. Lift your right leg up. Without using your hands, place your right foot to the outside of your left thigh. Keep turning towards the top of the mat, half moon pose, right hand down, left arm lifts up to the sky. Option for chapasana here, left hand reaches back to grab the left foot. Totally optional. If you have the foot, you can kick the foot into your hands and pull your heart forward. Good, uh, Maru, lift your left hip more. Keep going. That's it, ready when you are, my friends. Release the bind if you have it, and we're gonna start to take the left hip back down to the ground outside of the right ankle. If you can, try not to use your hands to land. Very good, and we'll turn back to the long edge of the mat. Take the right foot towards the back of the mat. Place your left foot down, get ready for skandasana. Lean forward, lift your hips up. You can use your hands. Rise all the way up. Heels in, toes out, squat, get low. Spin your back knee, right knee down, arms up. Anjaneyasana, stretch up, reach back to your fingertips. Bring your thumbs to the back of the neck. Squeeze your elbows in. Press to your feet, extend through your arms, reach back to your fingertips. Hands come down, take it back. Chaturanga. Cobra pose. Downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, lift up to your toes. Bend your knees, look forward. Feet land wider than the hands. Hop it forward, squat. Nice, Catlin, good float. Hands down, hips up, fold forward. Step your left foot way back. Lower your left knee down, circle the right arm up and around, grab your foot and squeeze your heel to your bum. Kick the foot into your hand. Squeeze the heel in. Good, uh, Fatima, twist more. Roll your right shoulder back more. Kick the foot back, keep doing that. Squeeze the heel in. Good, Jeff. Twist more. Pull your heart forward, shoulders back. Kick the foot back. Release the back foot. Good, Jeff. Release the back foot. Place the hands down. Pick up your back knee and turn to your left, wide-legged fold. You can stay and hold on to the fold or come up into another headstand if you choose. Maybe this time the forearms come down, fingers interlace. Place the back of your head inside of your hands. Elbows under shoulders, lift the backs of your thighs, draw your low belly in, tilt the hips forward, feet come up. Pressing down through the forearms, extending up through the feet. Core engage, lower back down, low belly lifts. Even as you lower backs of the thighs to lift, inhale, lift up to your fingertips. 
Exhale, get calling left side, Skandasana. Inhale, come forward to the top of the mat. Side plank to wild thing on the left side. Right arm goes up, spin the left bicep forward. Reach to your right fingertips. Maybe they touch the ground over your head. Vittorio, uh, up and over more. Keep going. Yeah, that way. Come back around, right hand down to the ground, right knee into your chest. The right foot can land or hover. Extend your right leg out to the left, left arm to the sky. Lower your hips down right next to your right wrist. Fold right down the center and stretch. Tone your thighs, spin your inner thighs down. So very similar, the backs of the thighs draw up towards the hips, low belly pulls up and in, and we fold. Inhale, come up. Place your right foot at your left thigh. Lift your left leg up without using your hands. Take your left foot all the way to the outside of your right thigh. Keep moving into your half moon pose. Left hand down, right arm lifts up. It's a lot of twisting and turning through space, but we're becoming masters of movement, not just the pose itself. Then the right knee reach back. Grab yeah, the right foot, Chapasana. Everybody, get your right hip up and over more. So Madhu, lift your back leg a lot more. Keep lifting, keep lifting. Good, flex your toes. Everyone press your inner right thigh back. Lift the back of your right thigh. Take your right hip up and over a little bit more. Nice, Vittorio. Good. Good, Madhu. Better. Yes, Jeff. Breathe. Nice, Monica. When you're ready, friends, release the back foot. And we're taking the right knee all the way back down to the ground. Right knee comes to the outside of the left ankle. Try not to use your hands to land. That's it. Good, Catlin. Good, Colin. And we'll lower the butt down. Take your left foot to the back of the mat. Place your right foot down. Get ready for Skandasana. Hips up. Press to your feet. Rise up to standing. Two straight legs. Heels in. Toes out. Come down and squat. <laughs> Turn your left knee forward and down, Anjaneyasana. Spiral the inner left thigh back. Bring your palms together, thumbs to the back of the neck. Scissor your thighs together. Press down into your feet. Reach back into your fingertips. Release the hands down. Take it back, please. Chaturanga. Last vinyasa here. Cobra pose. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift up to your toes, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale. If you want to, oh no, actually hop your way onto your back. Hop your, foot, uh, hop your legs through your arms. Nice job, everybody. Lie onto your backs, please. Placing your feet flat on the ground, your arms by your side. Let's either start with bridge pose. In fact, I'll start there. Bridge pose. If you have some support blocks or something you want to use instead, go for it. Hug your shins in. Spiral your inner thighs down. Lift into your outer hips. Now, there's a lot going on here. A lot that we can do to modify this pose. Call that being open to grace. Right, the willingness to refine the shape. Focus on something that isn't distracting you. If there's pain, if there's discomfort, that could be distraction. Focus on minimizing that, moving past that. If there's something you want to strengthen, focus there. There's so much things we can do and just bring your awareness into one thing that helps keep you present. For me, it's usually thighs down. Inner thighs down will help me lift the outer hips so that my knees aren't going wide. Yeah, it's a little bit more effort. I could feel it in my quads, but it's okay because I know I'm getting stronger and creating more space safely. Lower your hips down.
Here we go. We're coming back up to bridge pose. If you want to take it to upward facing bow, hands will come right next to the ears. Ready? Inhale to, or sorry, right next to the shoulders. Inhale to, how do we say it? Ears. Right next to your shoulders. Inhale, lift up. Upward facing bow or bridge pose. Wherever you are, please breathe deeply. Remember, parallel your feet. So a lot of us have our big toes turned out right now. Turn your big toes in so the feet are parallel. Now hug your shins in and spiral your inner thighs down until you start to feel your legs extending. Straighten your legs more. Lift into your outer hips. Lengthen through your back body. Press through your feet, press through your hands. Three, soften your jaw. Relax muscles in the face, two. And one, lower down. Recover. All right, let's take it back up one more time. Upward bow or bridge pose. Make sure that as you come up, your toes might be turning out, which is fine, I guess, as you come up, but make sure then you're resetting the feet so that the inner edges are parallel to each other. Toes turned out will start to invite you know, the knees to turn out. It's gonna make it harder to spiral the thighs down. And when you do, it'll start to pull on your knee, which we don't want. All right, when you're ready, inhale, bridge or upward bow. Hands next to shoulders, press up and extend out. Remember, parallel your feet so that your big toes are almost, feels like they're turning in, right? Hug your shins in, spiral your thighs down. You should feel like you're trying to squeeze your thighs together with resistance. Keep that, lift the outer hips up as if someone's lifting you from your outer pockets, from your side pockets. And try to straighten your legs as much as you can. Press through your feet, extend through your legs. Good, three, two, and one, lower down. Nice job today, everybody. Wish the weapon knee side to side. We worked a lot on not just being in the shape, but getting the space between the poses be more intentional, something we could focus on. This is kind of what vinyasa yoga is all about, that space between the transitions, the awareness that uh, it's a journey that we're on, not just a series of destinations. Knees to the left. Keep the knees on the left side, stay on your back or come up onto your forearms and start to turn so that your belly is pointing down at the ground. And slide your right arm under your left arm if you want and come down to your shoulder. Slowly come up. We'll make our way down to our backs again. Knees over to the right side. Stay on your back or come up onto your forearms. Turn your belly to the ground and breathe. If you want to go deeper, you can thread your left arm under your right arm and come down onto your left shoulder. Slowly come back up. 
And we'll make our way up to seated, seated. Last little bit of stretches here. Take your legs out nice and wide again. All right, actually, sorry, place your feet flat on the ground. We're gonna take just a quick pigeon pose. Dip both of your knees, no hands, over to your left. So these little drills we've been working on the past couple of days, weeks, have been helping us increase our mobility, our range of motion that we're able to move through. All right, go ahead and find pigeon pose, left shin forward, right leg back. Drop down onto your forearms and square off your hips. Try to use as little of your hands as possible to get there. Left shin forward, right leg back. You can think of our strength as our capacity for uh, resistance, right? Our, our ability to create tone and support resistance. You can think of our flexibility as our end range of motion, like how far we can move into a specific shape. Go ahead and come back up onto your left hip, but our mobility, pick your hands up, is our ability to move with strength and control through our range of motion. Slide your left leg out, fold in right down the center. Stretch through your legs, stretch through your chest, spin your thighs down. And then pick it up. One more time to the right side. Bend your knees, place your feet on the ground. Both knees over to the right without using your hands as best you can. Slide your left leg back. Come down to your forearms, pigeon pose on the right side. So again, our mobility is our ability to access our usable range of motion. Most of us, if we were in our deepest split or pigeon pose, let's say, can only do that with resistance from the ground supporting us. Couldn't do it, let's say, standing. Right? Okay, that's, a good, that's a good example, standing. And so we work to create less of a gap between our flexibility and our mobility, trying to find more usable and active space within our bodies. Go ahead and come onto your right hip, please. Sit up tall. Stretch your right leg out, inhale, take the arms up. Last one of these, exhale, fold right down the center. Tone your thighs, spin your thighs down, press out through your feet, walk your hands out and breathe. Slowly come back up. All right, legs together. Knees into your chest, roll down onto your backs, everyone. Ah, make some circles with your knees. Circle the other way. Take a deep breath in. And Shavasana, right back, relax. I know there's a lot going on. We sort of start to anticipate the next endeavor. I know that there's sound coming from outside. Can you work on just being here and now for a minute or two longer? Those distractions aren't distractions, they are just a part of what is. When you're ready, we'll move our fingers and our toes first. Roll out your wrists and your ankles. 
Take a big breath in, stretch out your arms and your legs, please. And exhale, let it go. Bring your knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze. And from there, rock yourself up to seated. Bring your hands together at your heart. Close your eyes. Thank you so much for sharing in today's practice with me, being open and willing and ready to accept the challenge, to move through it with grace, and to come out feeling stronger, more resilient, uh, more connected. It's my honor and privilege to get to practice with you each and every morning. Thanks again for welcoming me into your home and into your practice. We'll close with one ohm. Exhale the breath out. Inhale for ohm. The light in me honors the light in you. May that light shine brightly for us all. Thank you for practice. Great job today, everyone. Really nice work. If you have questions, comments, requests, feedback, anything you want to share or just say hello, reach out to me, Stephen Arcus Yoga on Instagram, on Facebook, and you can email me, Stephen at Stephen Arcus Yoga. If you have the ability to give, you can please send to Venmo, Stephen Arcus Yoga, or paypal.me forward slash Stephen Arcus Yoga. And lastly, if you can't make a live class, we've got a lot of videos available on YouTube. Search Stephen Arcos Yoga, go figure. And if you want a copy of today's class, email me, let me know, and I'll get one to you. Have a wonderful day. Thanks so much. See you next time.